Hey astrology lovers! My name is Julia Mikas and I'm an astrologer as well as an emotional support human for Luna and we're going to tell you what the stars are saying for July. OMG Luna, it's our one year anniversary of doing horoscopes on YouTube and to celebrate we're going to get a break from eclipses until November. Yay! Luna and I hate eclipses because they're so wildly unpredictable. So that Saturn Uranus square is still very much a thing and it just made another exact aspect. I have made a video back in October about the astrology of 2021 where I talked about the square and how we can expect major financial upheaval over the next few years, especially because Uranus is in Taurus. Now what that means is that the planet of instability is in the sign of money and agriculture. So we are heading towards greater inflation as supply chains get disrupted and consumer goods go up in price, a lot like the inflation of the mid 1970s. 70s when we had another Saturn Uranus square. Uranus was in the sign of Scorpio and Scorpio rules gas and oil because Scorpio is about digging down to uncover what's underneath and fuel is found underneath the earth. Uranus is in Taurus now and this is the sign of food and agriculture, so we might get a lot more financially impacted in the agricultural industry as we notice the price of food going up over the next couple of years. On July 9th we have a home loving new moon in 18 degrees Cancer which is going to be a great time to focus on your family and domestic life. This moon has supportive aspects from Uranus and Neptune so things are going to flow nicely together with family or maybe you can start a new home project. Now the full moon on the 23rd looks a lot less cozy. It takes place in 1 degrees Aquarius and it's sandwiched between Saturn and Pluto. That'd be like sitting at a dinner between Darth Vader and Al Capone. There might be some emotional heaviness and intensity in your relationships around there, so be prepared to self care. Jupiter is now backtracking in the sky, it's about to pop into one of your houses for the rest of the year, bringing growth and opportunities to some new area of your life and I'm going to tell you more about how that's going to affect you in just a bit. Hey Aries, Venus, the planet of pleasure, starts the month in the funnest house of the zodiac which is the fifth. You could enjoy going out with your partner and friends or working together on some art collaboration. This is also a great transit for all the single Aries out there too. Then on the 23rd, Venus is going to go into your sixth house of work. This is a great time for getting along well with your boss, coworkers, clients and customers because Venus brings harmony wherever she goes. You also might run into more hotties at your job. Just check in with HR first, ok? So Jupiter is going to be joining Saturn in your 11th house where they are going to be hanging out here for the rest of the year. Your life is going to revolve around more group activities now and your friends might be a benefit to you in some way. This is a great time to work with a team and you also might make some new friends who prove valuable, so get out there and schmooze. This is a great year for finding and also feeling like you are a part of a tribe because tribe is just chosen family. However with Saturn here you also might find that the groups that you are a part of, whether they are unions, clubs, societies, organizations, recovery programs, gamer circles and friendships might have more burdens and responsibilities on you too. Saturn in the 11th house can also give your future dreams a reality check and reality bites bro. Thanks for watching! Luna and I are putting out new horoscopes every month because we are trying to find more ways to spend quality time together. So hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on the latest cosmic news. Bye bye!